today we are at the Valhalla Sky Suite in South Carolina. This is a unique two-story shipping container home with sweeping views of the Sumter National Forest. It also has one of the most luxurious bathrooms I've ever seen before in a container home. The view is just mind-blowing. So let's now go and start the full tour. To kick off the tour, we're going to park our car in this covered car park area and open up the gate to enter into the property. And this is your first glimpse of what is inside. You'll notice that there are two different paths because there are two different container Airbnbs on this property. But we are gonna bank right because we are staying in the taller one, the Valhalla Sky Suites. Let's now continue on past this fence and the cowboy and come into this simple little sitting area with two blue Adirondack chairs. You get your first peek of your incredible view into Sumter National Forest. We're also right near the border of the states of Georgia and South Carolina. Now let's shift our focus to the container exterior itself. You'll notice that the home is made up of two separate 40 foot shipping containers with the top container partially carved out for the deck. You also have this huge window. I'm in the bathroom there in that shot. And the upper deck is one of my favorite parts of this Airbnb. Finally, before we head inside, I just have to point out more of the surrounding area. Having a national park on your doorstep is a major plus. You have 370,000 acres out here. That's just crazy. But that's it for everything outside. So I'm gonna open up this door to check out the interior. When you come into the bottom container on the right hand side, you can see the kitchen. And if we switch to the opposite end, you have this kind of hangout and chill area. You have this huge couch here with a bunch of fluffy and comfortable pillows. I was able to stretch out completely on it and take a little nap before continuing to shoot. We'll venture into the kitchen next. You have this nice sign on the counter that says, Welcome Mike. I always love these personal touches. There's then all of your appliances you can begin to see, like your microwave and stovetop. Then up top, there are a ton of shelves with everything out in the open and easily accessible. Everything from your pots and pans to your knives to your glasses. You know exactly where everything is. You don't have to waste time rummaging around in any cabinets or drawers. Of course, you also have this huge sink and kind of a retro looking fridge and freezer but now we'll look against this wall and you have a nice little dining table the Sun also hits it perfectly first thing in the morning so you can wake up here with your cup of coffee or tea but now I'm gonna get up and walk over to this wall you actually have another little mini table that you can pull up like this and this is a pet friendly rental so you have a little care package for your four-legged friend down here and there's also a remote because up top hanging from this wall you actually have this small smart tv for entertainment that concludes this first main area in the bottom container so now i'm going to take the camera and pan over here to this other end and open up this door and this will take us actually back outside because you have another outdoor area this is where your fire pit is you also have an umbrella, some additional seating options, and a little grill you can see in the background. And this is one of those cool smokeless fire pits. I love these things. They make it so much easier to actually light a fire and you don't get smoke everywhere, obviously. So I got a fire up and running pretty easily. And this is your own little private area. It is not shared with the other container home. This is just for you. Let's now go back on inside. I'm gonna pull back this door in the kitchen to head finally into the bathroom. Walking on in, of course, one of the first things you're gonna notice is that big vintage claw foot bathtub. This thing is definitely a centerpiece of the room. More on all of that shortly, because we're now gonna look over on the left and you have this entire wall that is made out of stone. It's really breathtaking. Normally stone is reserved just for the exterior. I loved how they use this inside in the bathroom. In that corner as well, you can see the sink area is made up of this refurbished barrel. It looks really, really neat. And there's also a bunch of shelves also made out of stone that are built straight into this same large wall. There's a bunch of little items waiting for you, everything from these little essential oils, and of course the normal shampoo and conditioner. 
Looking further into the bathroom, you have these two luxurious bathrobes waiting for you, hanging from this piece that has this big pineapple in the middle of it. I love that. But now onto your vintage clawfoot tub. This thing is also perfectly situated to face the forest and sunset. It doesn't get much better than this. The owner even left behind some bath bombs for you and this nice white noise machine. That mostly covers this half of the bathroom, but if we actually look back towards the door that we initially entered in from, there's another little door here hidden, and I'm sure you may have been wondering, Mike, where is the toilet in this bathroom? Well, this is where it's located. So of course, this is a fully functioning bathroom. Last but certainly not least, if you're not feeling the bath so much and you wanna to stick to your usual shower, that is of course an option. You have a lovely shower set up there right in the corner. I know what you're thinking, especially with this being a bathroom and all of these massive windows. Don't worry, the other container home is not able to see you from any of these angles. And there's a bunch of these different curtains that you can draw across these windows for all the privacy that you need. We'll leave this luxurious and I think quite romantic bathroom and we'll come back to this area we saw earlier. It is now time to walk up these stairs to check out the entire second floor, which we haven't touched yet. So let's now walk on in. This takes us into the one bedroom in this container home. You can see a little into the outdoor deck. There's also just a multitude of pillows on top of this bed. There are so many of them. We'll get a little bit closer to this bed now and the personal touches continue. There is a nice little handwritten card laying there on top of the bed when I first checked in, not to mention also a few candies. If you now look a little bit more at the end of the bed down below, there's also a few storage bins, which is nice if you're staying for a couple of days at this Airbnb. After the bed, we'll now shift our attention to this other section of the room along this opposite wall. There's a bunch of interesting items in this corner. One of the ones that definitely caught my eye was that lamp, which is made out of a mannequin. I saw it as soon as I walked in. There's other accessories as well, like some binoculars you can use to look into the forest, a bunch of different books, and even some nice candles. Overall, this entire wall gave me this really cool kind of vintage feeling to it when I first saw it. I haven't even covered one of the coolest features yet. If you look on top of the bed, there is a projector actually. And if I grab a chair, I just hit this button up top. The projector screen will slowly come down. I mean, how cool is this? It's also a Chromecast enabled movie screen projector. And this is just like the ultimate entertainment setup. I'll slide back this door because now it's finally time to head to the outdoor deck. I think it's seriously so cool how they somehow managed to carve out this entire space from a container. And this is a full on bar. You have this counter that goes all the way around. You can have your morning cup of coffee or a few cocktails to finish off the day. And I'll finally take the drone and zoom out a bit. Just look at how lush and green everything looks. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you all very soon for another Airbnb tour.